British and European lightweight champion Freddie Welsh takes on America's Patty McFarland. London, 30th of May, 1910. This fight fought at the National Sporting Club in London, and Welsh is on the left-hand side of your screen. Slightly the shorter man, with the lighter coloured hair. European champion and British champion. Won the European title in August 1909, and the British title in November of the same year. The fight billed by the Sporting Club is for the World Lightweight title, also, a stake of £1,900 up for grabs for the two men. McFarland looking to rush in, call him the pride of the stockyards. Tough man from the Irish quarter of Chicago. More upright stance, good left hand though. And another good flashing left hand from McFarland. And already Welsh is knowing he's very much in a fight here. These two men, of course, have fought before. They met in 1908 in the United States. Welsh lost on the first occasion in the second fight, 25 rounds as a draw. Well, not too much between them in this opening period. McFarlane probably just about getting the better of it. Welsh looking to tie him up. And the round ends with a good right hand from McFarland. Who on my card would have taken that? So into the third round. Freddie Welsh with his back to us, the British and European champion. see these two men so well matched a lot of clinching and mauling McFarlane maybe just beating Welsh to the punch at this stage Using his reach advantage well. Good right hand from McFarland. And again, Welsh just soaking up another left jab and doing not a lot more than just clinch inside, but at last a combination, left right combination from Welsh. Good right hand from McFarland, good body shot. As always at the National Sporting Club, not too much noise from the crowd. That's the convention. Welsh quick on his feet, starting to use his mobility better, but another good left hand from McFarland, and Welsh took it. Welsh trying to unleash that left hand, which looks like the power shot. Good chopping right there from McFarlane, just 22 years old, clearly a very fit and strong man. McFarlane lost his first professional fight by knockout, but he's been undefeated since.
So into round 14. Well, starting quickly with a couple of clubbing left hooks into the body and using his mobility now, using the full width of the ring. Trying to provide a mobile target, just trying to get in and out and score punches, but McFarland, with that reach advantage, is still able to get through and score. A bit of bruising around McFarland's face now and a look of desperation as he tries to unload his big shots. Welsh this time just holding on. Welsh on the right hand side of your picture. Welsh certainly doesn't want to take any of those big right hands from McFarland. And he only just managed to cover up as the American tried to unload. McFarland with the more static style. And Welsh coming, jumping in again. Throwing punches from crazy angles, scoring shots. But McFarland takes them well and comes back throwing two or three good stiff left jabs. Words for Welsh from his corner. McFarlane's having a good round now. And there again, you see Welsh doing little more than just covering up and clinching in close. And soaking up that left lead of the taller American. Good right uppercut from Welsh, better work. Oh, Welsh is thrown across the ring and caught by a left hand as well. You saw the strength of McFarlane once more. And he's clearly bossed this round. But Welsh lands with a big overhand right just in the closing seconds of the round. But a good round for the American. Round 19. McFarland starts it with a, a long left lead. McFarland with his back to us, now on the right-hand side of the picture. Neither of these men truly destructive single-punch knockout artists. Having to rely instead on the build-up of points over the rounds. Nineteenth round, though, and both of them still looking full of fire. Just get the impression that McFarlane may be in close in those clinches, doing just a little bit more. Welsh being bullied around the ring once more. Right left from McFarland again and a left lead. And once more, Welsh just wants to hold on, trying to get inside that left hand all the time, trying to work in close. This time, Welsh does get a little bit of success, doubling up well on the left hand. Welsh is back to us, tries to plant the left hand. This time he wants to cover up. Again, McFarland onto the offensive. Right hand into the body from Welsh, good body shot. And now McFarland wants to lean on. Welsh beating him twice to the punch with the left hand.
Fascinating contrast in styles. These two fighters so well matched. And there again, another close round. So into the 20th and final round, the two fighters just touch gloves. Nice show of appreciation from both men. Is it going to be the Welshman on the left-hand side of your picture, dancing around the ring? Or is it going to be the American from Chicago, Packy McFarland? McFarland aims a big right hand, but Welsh saw it coming and comes back throwing body shots of his own. Just one big punch might be enough, and there's a good right hand from McFarland, but Welsh takes it well. Right uppercut from the American. Crucial last moments of the fight. Well, swinging in. McFarlane trying to plant himself, trying to look for the big shots. And again, a whistling right hand from McFarlane, only just off target. Welsh goes in with a right over the top. And again, the clinch. These men must be so tired, but keeping the action right up to the final bell. Good right hand from McFarland as they came out of the clinch. It must be close. Welsh bravely keeping coming forward, although the cleaner shots you sense are still coming from McFarland. Welsh jumping in with body shots, hoping to sway it, even in these dying seconds. Good right hand from McFarland, and that really backed Welsh up. Welsh continuing to dive in through desperation. Coming up towards the final bell. And there it is. A real fight for the connoisseur. And the result, perhaps quite rightly, from the referee is a draw. <laughs>